I am Ruth Baker Gardner. I attended the UOE from 1998 to 2003. I was a student, an undergraduate student in 1999 when we had the gas riots that locked down Jamaica for two full days. Um, UOE students were very much a part of that incident, that experience, that period because it took the students of UWE combined with those from UTEC, organized by the guilds of both university to march down to Jamaica House and to get the then prime minister to come out and meet with the public. Because after two days of lockdown, he was determined that he was not going to speak to Jamaica. And that set of students who were tear gas, beaten with buttons by the police, caused a shift in the attitude of the then leader. And he met with them and the riots stopped after two days. Who was the then leader? He was PJ Patterson. And tell me a little bit more about the demonstration in terms of where it started, how many students approximately would have been involved. All right. Um, the students from UWE, mostly those students who lived on campus, because off-campus students couldn't come to UWE because of all the roadblocks across the island. So those who were in halls gathered at UTEC gate with those who were at UTEC. I have no idea how many of them were there, but you could. they were militant. They were shouting, they were marching, they were chanting, they had their placards. And together, those two groups walked all the way down to the Prime Minister's residence. Now, there were no vehicles on the road, so they just marched in the middle of the streets. They were very, very mil militant. What about you? No, I, at the time, was an off-campus student. I was on campus that day because I came for a test. As soon as I realized what was going on, my first and greatest need was to get home. That kind of was very frustrating because no vehicles were on the road, but eventually I did. So I was not a part of the protest, protest, but I could hear them from the campus. I saw them line up from UWE. I heard the shouts in Papine all the way from UWE campus, and so I just made my way home. Who would have been the head of the guild at that stage? I clearly remember Kern Spencer was then, he was then doing his master's. I was doing my undergrad degree. He was a part, very much actively involved in that. Okay. And do you remember um, what were some of the issues that people were out about and why people were so angry? No, Jamaica Rose got up, awakened to hear that grass prices had almost doubled and nobody was very happy. It was nonpartisan, which I found very interesting, and it caught across the entire island in no time at all. And with the fact that you students felt that they can identify in justice anywhere and were not willing to put up with it, they just jump in the middle of it. I don't think it was organized previously. They just got up to a situation and felt that it was necessary to become involved. Are there other demonstrations that you remember when you were, while you were a student at UWE? No, I don't because I was an off-campus student so most of my time was spent traveling or just coming to classes and leaving. 